Are you sick of seeing ups and downs in your life? Are you sick of sabotaging yourself? And every time you start hitting something, you crash and burn and it's all, just all gone. Are you sick of being in a cycle where no matter how much you try to improve, it feels like nothing you're doing gets you there, like nothing gets you out of the mess? In this video, I'm going to explain to you why this is happening, where I learned it from, and what happened when I learned this knowledge and applied it in my own life. Your life is not supposed to look like a roller coaster, which is how most people's lives look. You're in a good mood, bad mood, good mood, bad mood. You have more money, less money, more money, less money. Your money, your, sorry, your life is supposed to look like this. An up cycle, like this. With, of course, some slight periods of going down, but the bottoms, the bottom cycle should always be going up, and the top cycle should always be going up. If your life is looking like this, it means only one thing. It means that there are people in your life that are sabotaging your success. Now, I'm not talking about your haters, your enemies, your, the people that are really in to make you hurt. These people are not the people you should be worried about. And the reason is because they're very clear. The enemy is visible and it's very easy to push against them. The people you need to be worried about are the people in your immediate circle. They're actually the people that say that they love you, that say that they support you, that say that they want the best for you. These are your family, so your mom, your dad, brothers, wife, friends, associates, and more. Boss, sometimes. Any person that's close in your life that affects you. And the reason is, we're very much affected by our environment, a lot more than we think. Our thinking, our, our paradigms, the way we view the world is only a filter. So if reality is this big, the only part of reality that we actually see is a very small part of reality that we see through our filter. Our filter is based on our beliefs, on our experiences, on how we subjectively view those experiences. One person can lose $1,000 and say that it was a good thing. One person can lose $1,000 and say it was a bad thing. One person can make $1,000 and say it was a good thing. One person can make $1,000 and say it was a bad thing. It all changes based on perspective. And our perspective is created by our environment. So the people around us, these people, are what create the filter for what from this huge infinity of, of things to see in the world, of, of, of immediate things that your, that your conscious can pick up. The 99% of reality that you're not aware of, probably 99.99 .99, to be more accurate, you only filter the tiniest bit of it based on, again, your environment, which affects your paradigms, your experiences, and the filter that it creates. If you surround yourself with people that say, you can't do this, be careful, don't hurt yourself, uh, this is dangerous, be reasonable, uh, don't think too big, you're moving too fast, you're too energetic, and on and on and on, you're going to have constant doubts. You're going to have a filter where you say, I want to go up, I want to grow, I want to get big. But at the same time, you have filters that tell you, stay small, stay safe, be careful. And as long as those people are feeding that filter, are putting in influence, this is what you're going to see. And your life is always going to be like this because you're like, I want to grow, I want to get bigger. And then you think, oh, but this is too big, too much. I want to grow. Oh, but be careful. But, oh, no, this is not okay. I want to grow. And every time it's the same cycle. You don't have to be like this. You can just go up in your relationships, in your health, in your income. But how do you do that? You cut off every single 
negative influence in your life. Every person that tells you, don't do it, be careful, stay back, be reasonable, stay small, you're not good enough, you're not there yet. All these people, you need to cut them out of your life. And trust me that when you do that, you're going to start growing very fast if you're motivated like me. But then what happens is you're going to start making mistakes because you're not surrounded by people on the other side that are inspirational, that are better than you, that make more money than you, that are more motivated than you, that are more disciplined. You don't have them around you, so they're not feeding your, your, your filter. So you're going to make mistakes and you're going to probably crash. You're going to have your first big failure and it's going to be a big one because up until now you've been playing small. When you play small, you can fail small, but you can also only win small. You can't win big. So you're going to start naturally playing bigger and you're going to fail bigger. And when you fail bigger and you have your first big failure, all the people here are going to come back to you and tell you, see? We told you so. We told you you should stay small. We told you you should be careful. We told you it's dangerous. Come back to us. Come back. Come back to the mediocrity. Come back to small thinking. And you're going to go there. You're going to get back there. Why? Because you've been fed more of the same and they're going to accept you with love. So what you need to do is, again, cut those people off. Does that mean you should stop talking to your mom? Absolutely. Does that mean you should cut off your girlfriend? Absolutely. You should stop talking to your friends? Absolutely. Anytime you have a person in your life that is a suppressive person, a sabotager, somebody who makes you think smaller, be smaller, not fulfill your potential, you have two choices. First one, cut them off. This is the simple choice. Or the, the better choice, the more mature choice is to tell them, cut it off. Cut it off now or I'll have to cut you off. So if your mom you know, loves you and is nice to you and you love your mom, you can be in contact with her. But then if she says, oh honey, how's the business? How's the business going? And you say, oh great, da 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 da. And she says, be careful. Say, mom, I did not ask for your advice. Cut it off. I do not want to hear about this. Do not talk to me about this. And then you don't get the negative influence. They're basically not gonna feed your filter. But some people just can't hold it. They can't hold it in. They'll be like, they'll, they'll put it in in small doses and just wherever they can. And those people you have to cut off. You're just, sorry, gone. But some people, yeah, you can have a healthy relationship with them because they know boundaries. They know to respect your boundaries. And they know that you say this is sacred, don't affect this. And they're going to keep you away from this. You should spend most of your time, though, with inspirational people with the CEOs, the people that want big success, and make sure that they're not also surrounded by these suppressive people, because then they'll affect you as well. I know it sounds kind of kooky, but what happened with me in my life is, for many years, uh, I've always been playing small, I've been suppressed, I've been very small thinking. And then a few years ago, I started releasing myself from these suppressive people and I started listening to a lot more successful people. I started to surround myself with success. And of course, over time, I started growing very, very fast. And then the same people that told me, be careful, blah, 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 suddenly started cheering me because their filter is so broken that they're like, oh, now that you succeeded, now we trust you completely. So these people kept screwing with me in the negative way where I came back to them, see, I'm successful now. And now they fed me with the bad information that may, made me go back to failing because they told me, oh, you're so smart, you can't do anything wrong. And I got fed the wrong information again. So I got back to zero. And then these same people that were so nice now says again, you, oh, see, we told you, you be careful, you're gonna lose, uh, you're acting irresponsibly. Ugh. And uh, that basically took me out for almost two years of my life. So I basically lost two years of my life to, to this. And then what I decided was I'm going to cut them off. I'm going to start taking really great people. And then I surround myself with a CEO that I'm working with who is the most ambitious, creative, hardworking, and smart businesswoman that I know. And also 
the most charismatic business, and another person who is the most charismatic coach and business leader that I know. And I basically spent about 12 hours a day working with them. And ever since I started that, about four or five months ago, everything is back to going up. Everything I touch is gold. And that doesn't mean I don't make mistakes. It doesn't mean I don't lose money. But what it does mean is I now have their filter. And both of them make a whole lot of money. They also lose a lot of money. So if they make 80K, they're going to lose probably like 20K. But I'd rather lose $20,000 from an $80,000 income than lose nothing from a $5,000 income. So find these people, cut off these people, and your filter will get fixed. And you start seeing upwards movement. This is Robbie signing out. Don't forget to check out my book, Evolution of a Maniac, which details my life story from basically uh, age zero to age 23, two years ago. And I explained how I got there and what caused that great crash that I talked about and what happened there. Every single decision I made, every single big decision and epiphany that I had, you're gonna love it. It's on sale, $9.99. Check it out right now and get it. Thank you, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.